Yo, what is up guys? It is Small back again with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about the update that is happening on the 2nd of February. Now this update will come with the maintenance guys. It is going to last for 6 hours and it is going to run from 3am until 9am UTC time. If you guys don't know what time that is in your time zone, make sure you convert it because UTC is a universal time zone. So depending on where you live, it will differ for you. So the first thing that is happening is that the Guild War season is being changed. Uh, this means that you're going to have to re-rank up with your guild again to make sure you get those rewards and multipliers. Also, the Guild War season ending also means that frames will be going out for the top 100 guilds. If you're participating in those top 100 guilds, you will be getting a frame. Next up, you're also going to see that the World Arena season is ending. So the World Arena season ends on the 4th of February at 3 a.m. UTC time, and the preseason will start about two hours after. So for those two hours, you won't be able to actually play World Arena, uh, but you're definitely going to want to participate in World Arena because of the fact that there is another epic skin, ML 5-star skin you can get for free by being Masters or above. And even if you aren't that good at PvP or you are very new to the game and you actually don't have any units built to PvP yet, it is still fine. You still want to play your placements. So the reason why is that you'll see that if your placements are in progress when the season ends, you get no rewards at all. However, if you place, if you lose even all your placement games, you'll get at least bronze. You will get 1000 conquest points for free just by ending in bronze. So you definitely want to participate no matter what, because even if you lose every game or concede every game, you'll still get conquest points for free. Now, if you can go for the skin, I definitely recommend it. It's just a free skin. If you miss out on the skin, guys, uh, it is okay. It'll come to the store and you'll be able to purchase it later. Even if you guys do not own Little Queen Charlotte, you can still get the skin. And once you do pull for her later on, you'll actually get this uh, skin with her as well, available and ready to go. If you guys wanted to see what the skin looks like, here is a quick preview. Yes, it is Little Queen Charlotte, like I said. She's pretty waifu already. Her banner is actually currently running, so if you guys really want this skin and use it right away, um, you can actually pull for her and use the skin as well. But definitely, 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 if you can reach Masters, go for it. If not, at least try to do your placement so you get some extra Conquest points. After the World Arena and Guild Wars changes, we're going to have the Moonlight Theater also being a little bit tweaked. You're going to see that there is going to be extra stories coming out and monster stages. And also, you're going to see that there's going to be a lot of QOL changes that made the Moonlight Theater kind of annoying to play around with. So, thank God this is happening. But you're going to see the cast is here. Um, we have like Tom Model Luca, we have uh, Bologna, we have Crest, um, Designer a little bit, and we also have Bad Cat Armin. So, pretty cool. Pretty excited and hopefully these stories will be fun to play through next we have the new ancient inheritance season so ancient inheritance season is coming back it is the fifth time it is rerunning because ancient inheritance is back guys you are definitely going to want to make sure you are in an active guild not just any old guild guys but you want to be in an active guild because of the fact that by clearing through a lot of these bosses you'll be able to get really really good gear You'll also get modification gems, a ton of charms, a ton of Mulagora and bookmarks, uh, but the gear here is the main reason why you're doing this because the gear from Ancient Inheritance is always amazing. First off, you're going to note it is level 88, doesn't matter, it is going to roll like it is reforged, so you can kind of think of this as a level 90 uh, reforged piece. You're going to see that we have a defense set and also an injury set. The defense set pieces are very, very nice because of the fact that you can pretty much just put this on any Soul Weaver and Knight, and it will be very good as long as you dodge effectiveness for the most part. The injury pieces, the sword is very, very good. The weapon is very good, rather, because all the stats are good. The necklace is also very good except for effectiveness. The helmet is all very good, and also the chest is all very good. So the only thing that can roll poorly from the injury set is the effectiveness from the necklace. But besides that, you know, all very good pieces because of the fact that Katie's is so hard to farm. You can slap this onto like a Noencia or a Bellion and they will be very, very powerful. Definitely make sure you participate in Ancient Inheritance, guys. This is one of the best ways to get gear in the game for newer players because of the fact that you just get instant uh, pre, or not pre-reforged, post-reforged like gear um, from our pretty much nothing at all just by just by being in a guild and you'll also be able to you know get a set that is not easily accessible for newer players next up we have the new drop rate up banner we have Yufine, very powerful in pvp and also usable in pve as well as well as her artifact merciless glutton now we're going to be talking about this in a separate video in the near future so keep your eyes out for that uh, but for the most part this unit is very good in pvp especially if you are good at speed contesting Next thing you're going to notice is we have Maid Chloe's epic skin coming to the store. Like I said, if you do miss out on Little Queen Charlotte's um, skin, you'll actually be able to get this skin later on from the store as well once it releases because Maid Chloe was also a reward from World Arena a while back. 
And also we have Valencia's skin coming to the store as well. This will cost you those skin tickets, which you can get from doing uh, like Expedition um, and also like side stories and stuff like that. And also you can also buy them with money if you really want to, but yeah. Also, a lot of other changes coming out, a lot of issues and um, QOL changes. Um, nothing too crazy. I read, I read through them all, um, but nothing too, um, you know, anything that really stands out really. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, though, guys. That's the update coming to the game on the 2nd of February. Hope you guys found this video helpful, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.